May 21st, 2016, here is your latest church apostasy news from Tried Cat Night. Francis, being Francis, in a shocking interview, Francis essentially is saying that Muslim migrants ought breed with Europeans slash Christians to counter the declining birth rates. Today, I don't think there is a fear of Islam as such, but of ISIS and its war of conquest, which is partly drawn from Islam, he told the French newspaper La Croix. It is true that the idea of conquest is inherent in the soul of Islam. However, it is also possible to interpret the objective in Matthew's Gospel, where Jesus sends his disciples to all nations in terms of the same idea of conquest. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Francis being Francis, liking, likening the Catholic apostles to that of essentially ISIS. <laughs> okay. Here we have, in my opinion, a 33rd degree Freemason promoting his uh, multiculturalism. Again, the plan has long been in place, ladies and gentlemen. The whole refugee crisis is a scam. It's actually being funded by uh, those certain Jews who collaborate with Islam to bring down Catholic Europe. Now, Francis also went on to say he dreaded hearing about the Christian roots of Europe because to him, they take on a colonialist overturn. And he called upon European nations to integrate Muslim migrants back into the continent. This integration is all the more necessary today since as a result of selfish search for well-being, Europe is experiencing the grave problem of a declining birth rate, he stated. A demographic emptiness is developing. So there you have it. On the account of uh, the culture of self, he is now just saying, well, just go ahead and start uh, breeding with other religions. <laughs> Mixed marriages, by the way, are condemned by the Catholic Church for those who are not Catholic. His opinions are stunningly similar to those of top Iman, a Sheikh Muhammad Ayyid, who said Muslims should exploit the migrant crisis to breed with Europeans and to conquer their countries. Now, I'm not overly familiar with him, but I would venture to say he's a Freemason as well. Europe has become old and decrepit and needs human reinforcement. They're not motivated by compassion for the Levant, its peoples, and refugees. Soon we will trample them underfoot. Allah willing, he stated. That sums it up for you right there. We will give them fertility, he says. We will breed children with them because we shall conquer their countries. Francis also, which is not surprising because the social justice program of Vatican II is the same as New Age, which is going to be this one world socialist republic. He also promoted socialism during this interview, InfoWars reported. Uh, a completely free market does not work, Francis said. Markets in, in and of themselves are good, but they also require a fulcrum, a third party, or a state to monitor them and balance them. In other words, what is needed is a social market economy. How many times have we covered that Vatican II teaches a social democracy? Archbishop Lefebvre picked up on this right away, and he knows that connection between the Jews and Masons with socialism. Now, Francis being Francis, we're not done yet, folks. Uh, I reported upon this in a talk last night, but Francis, when meeting with uh, Bishop Fillet and then talking about a possible personal prelature, uh, granting, you know, granting that to the Society of St. Uh, Pius X. He said it would be a possible solution, but before that, a fundamental agreement should be established with the Society, because he states the Second Vatican Council has its value. Ladies and gentlemen, please pray for Bishop Fillet, who just doesn't get this. He doesn't get it. They're not, they're not budging uh, on the Council. Francis is not. Now, we're not finished, ladies and gentlemen. This just came out today as well. Francis to host Sunni Muslim leader at the Vatican. Grand Iman of Cairo's prestigious Al-Azhar Mosque.
to visit Rome in a sign of improved ties between the Catholic Church and Muslim world. Francis is to meet the Grand Imam of Cairo's Al-Azhar at the Vatican on Monday in an unprecedented encounter between the leader of the world's Catholics and highest authority in Sunni Islam. Sheikh Ahmad Al-Tayyib, who heads the mosque and seat of learning, considered uh, the most prestigious institution in the main branch of Islam, will have an audience with the leader of the world's 1.2 billion Catholics, Vatican spokesman Lombardi said. The audience is being prepared, as has been scheduled for Monday. It will be a first. The hugely symbolic visit comes against the backdrop of a recent improvement in relationships between the two faiths, right? The true faith and the false faith of Islam. After serious tensions during the time of Francis' predecessor, Benedict the 16th. Again, we're talking about dialogue here. We're talking about false ecumenism, the heresy of Vatican II, wherein all religions will be soon united. Again, we have to remember Freemasons. It doesn't matter what religion you belong to. So, you know, you take a look at the, the world landscape today. Francis, in my opinion, is a Freemason. Whoever this other knucklehead is, is a Freemason. Uh, and they run in Islam, too. Uh, don't just think it's, don't just think it's, uh, you know, in the Catholic Church. Also with the Jews. And so, uh, ladies and gentlemen, you know, Francis being Francis, we have to continue to resist out of love for the church, out of love uh, for seeing people not being duped by this new religion of Vatican II. We must admonish, we must warn others, you know, find yourself a church where they're not teaching Vatican II, where they're not promoting the new mass, and bear down for this storm coming ahead. It's going to be something else. And so, ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned at Tradcat Night. Subscribe to Tradcat Night on YouTube for all of the latest videos, giving you daily updates on end time news, earth changes, the Illuminati, uh, Monzano, GMOs, uh, traditional Catholic apologetics. We're covering it all, every basis, every angle, and helping you to understand the times in which we live from the proper traditional Catholic perspective. We are the most comprehensive and follow traditional Catholic apostolate. So visit tradcatnight.blogspot.com, subscribe to you on the YouTube channel, and if you can, please make a financial contribution. This is an information war against those Novus Ordo sites, which is largely run by Judeo uh, Freemasonry. We're up against the New World Order here, so we're trying to compete and uh, trying to get as much information out to the mainstream as possible. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, stay safe and God bless.